It's insane to me that in the United States, some media outlets are trying to link personal health decisions with political identity. A recent article in Rolling Stone by E.J. Dixon titled, Why is the right so obsessed with seed oils, is a half-hearted attempt to somehow suggest that being curious about including excess seed oils in your diet makes you a right-wing conspiracy theorist. The subtitle reads, Wellness influencers and conspiracy theory peddlers love to demonize seed oils, but experts think their fears are bullshit. While I don't consider myself right-wing, a wellness influencer, or a conspiracy theory peddler, I am curious about how excess seed oils, also referred to as linoleic acid or omega-6s in our modern Western diets, might be contributing to our health problems. Heck, in other countries, the topic of health is completely separate from politics altogether. You'll want to stick to the end of this to hear about what I think is the strangest part of the seed oil debate. To briefly, and I mean briefly, summarize this article, E.J. Dixon starts off by talking about how a wellness influencer called Carnivore Aurelius has been talking badly about seed oils. She then name drops a couple of hot-button conservative male influencers who promote a carnivore diet before finally getting to the main point of the article, why people might want to avoid seed oils. E.J. Dixon ends up saying that consuming too many foods containing omega-6s can disrupt the balance of omega-3s to omega-6s in the body. She then attempts to support her stance that anyone who's concerned about omega-6s are right-wing conspiracy peddlers, saying there is limited evidence supporting the idea that omega-6s should be avoided entirely. If E.J. Dixon spent 10 more minutes researching for this article, she would have found that no one is really arguing to entirely avoid omega-6s. Omega-6s are essential and are involved in the structure of cell membranes. They're already found in a lot of the foods that we eat. It's the concentration of omega-6s in our diets that might be the problem. If she spent a little bit more time researching, she would have found that there are doctors, yes, doctors, who are also speaking about the potential harms of excess omega-6 fatty acids in the diet. If you do a search on YouTube, you can find lectures by Dr. Chris Kenobi, where he explains that ancestrally, humans would have consumed between 2% and 3% omega-6 fatty acids per day, as opposed to the 5% to 10% that the American Heart Association suggests. And the reality is, most Americans are probably eating way more than that on a daily basis. If you or a loved one has suffered from digestional issues or cardiovascular issues, or even had a heart attack or stroke, you might be concerned about what you're eating on the daily and how it affects your health. It's really not a political thing. E.J. Dixon closes the article by saying that the demonization of seed oils has spilled over into the anti-sunscreen movement, suggesting that this is due to sunscreens sometimes containing seed oils. Now, I've never heard of this, but this is getting close to what I consider to be one of the most important, curious, and strange parts of the seed oil omega-6 debate. What I think... E.J. Dixon meant to say is that there are several anecdotes online that people stop getting sunburn after they've limited their omega-6 intake. If you quickly google seed oils, linoleic acid, omega-6s, or any combination of the three, and sunburn, you'll find these accounts. You might need to check Reddit or other outlets, but they're out there and they're pretty easy to find. Why this is curious is because sun exposure, Exposure to UVB light allows our bodies to produce vitamin D3, which plays a crucial part in strengthening our immune systems. UVB can also cause skin cancer. So if there are anecdotes of people limiting omega-6 intake and noticing that they're not getting sunburn, this at the very least merits scientific investigation or even unbiased journalistic investigation, since if it has any truth, the omega-6 topic could potentially hold the key for figuring out how much UVB is beneficial for human health and how much UVB is carcinogenic. Since vitamin D deficiency is common, figuring out why some of these people say they're not getting sunburn could potentially help a lot of people. E.J. Dixon suggests that worrying about your omega-6 intake is somehow fear-mongering and makes you a right-wing conspiracy theorist, which has nothing at all to do with the fact that this topic is incredibly interesting and could mean the difference between developing health problems or not throughout your life. The best part of this article is the last paragraph where she says we should avoid processed foods whenever possible after telling us earlier in the article that seed oils are typically extracted using a petroleum-based chemical called hexane, which is used to dissolve the seed and extract the oil. Does it get any more processed than that?
One great thing about this article is that now more people might be curious about what they're eating or being fed or what their kids are being fed on a daily basis in terms of seed oils and omega-6s in their diet. And with that being said, health decisions really aren't related at all to political identities. So if you come across articles like this, take 10 minutes, 15 minutes to look it up and see for yourself, you know, what do you think about this? Thank you for listening and please let me know your thoughts in the comments.